Shall we defend the pawn? Bring the bishop out. Just push the pawn up. Let's bring the bishop back. Let's put this little bit of a check on. Take the bishop off. Castle. Okay, all pretty straightforward stuff. Now there's a bit of a gap here. I don't know if I'll be able to take advantage of it. My eyes are drawn to it. I'm going to bring the queen up. I'm going to see if there's an exchange. Obviously targeting the pawn with the knight if the queen does take. They might forget themselves. Okay, so pawn for a pawn. We're going to be on a higher piece, which is the rook. And looks like they may have seen this already, but we can come here and get the bishop for free, but it's probably trapped because it, it's not coming back out again. So it's kind of trapped, but we'll get it for free for a brief moment. Or not, we'll take the rook, the higher piece. And shall we hit the bishop or take the pawn? Take the bishop. I'm going to take the pawn, maybe. I'm going to take the pawn. All right. And how can we attack this knight and just block their pawn? Okay, the rook's defending at the minute. Rooks don't really have a place defending pawns per se. Shall we get this rook in the game? So it's on the file. Maybe we can come here and pin the knight to the rook. So very, for me, very positional type of style of play. And again, oh, the bishop's gone there. So we can just bring the rook here and pin. Oh, steady on. Because what's going to happen? The knight's just going to jump here and block the rook in. Although we can take the rook off the ball. But then his rook could just come here first. And then the king comes here. And then the rook's just going to be stuck in the back. I don't think they'll be thinking like that, though, will they? Let's give it a shot. If they do move the knight, we can take the rook. But if they get a bit fancy in RTM... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't care. Let's just bring the rook here. I was going to bring it across here, but let's just do this. Did he just grab a pawn, then? Grabbed a pawn. But has that improved their position? That is the key question that we always got to ask ourselves. Knight wants to jump here, but it's going to be blocking this rook. So they're getting very fancy with themselves. Just to going to attack the old rook here. So we can get the knight off the board. So again, positional play. Oh, you know, I'm harping on. So if I take, the bishop takes. Is there anything else? Hit the knight. Where's the knight going? Oh, he's going up to attack our rook. We don't want that. So let's leave the knight there. Keep it sleeping. And can't come here. It must be about the bishop. It must be about the bishop. Well, maybe not. Knight. Okay, let's, shall we attack their knight? Or do we attack this pawn? He drops down. I'm going to attack the pawn, drops down, we attack the rook. Oh, he's always coming for our rook anyway, wasn't he? So we can come here, but the bishop's just going to attack. The bishop's just going to go here. What if they just, let's take the pawn, we're on their rook, so then knight's going to take, we'll take we will attack the bishop and we will the knight is protecting this pawn rook is on here rook attacks and then he comes for the knight takes knight takes take the pawn coming for our pawn here so should we do this first but that gives him time to push the pawn down doesn't it 
Yeah. Come on, we want that pawn. Ah. Knew they'd seen it. Right, okay. Do we move this knight? I don't know where it's going. Here, here, nowhere. It can't go anywhere. It's kind of jammed in, isn't it? Shall we leave it there for a moment? I'm going to hit the pawn. I'm going to hit the pawn, make some space. I'm feeling positionally we should be... Oh, ooh, okay. We should be okay. Let's just keep moseying on up. So now the bishop's moved out of the way of grabbing the pawn. I think that does help our case. One. Takes, takes. Now it's jammed in. Can't go anywhere. If I move the rook, he's going to attack the knight. But then we can go across there, can't we? Let's attack the king. We can go across here. Checkmate. Ouch. Take a note. Let's develop the knight, attacking the pawn. Let's overextend the bishop. I think they'll just jump in here. Oh, they're not doing any of that. Let's take. Shall we? Castle. That's an interesting one because the pawn's going to end up being open, but it doesn't have any pieces that's going to cause us any trouble. Let's continue as is. Yeah, let's take. So causing disruption to the pawn structure. Sometimes it's a good thing if you have other pieces that can do something about it. This is why I wasn't too worried about that. Let's just grab here. So we've got a cluster of pawns in the center, which is really quite handy sometimes, just that this pawn is kind of weak if the knight finds a good position somehow. But at the minute, it looks pretty guarded. So I am, I'm actually going to bring the knight this way. I'm going to hit this pawn. I'm going to take with the pawn. So where's the access? The access is here. So we probably need to move the king here. I think I probably prefer it here, but because the battle is not over yet, maybe it's best just staying in the corner for now. Okay, and they realize this, but we can still make inroads into doing that because we don't have any other accesses anywhere else. They've got more accesses than those. They've got these two files here. We've only got one. So my eyes are drawn to this type of thing. It's like they can hear me. <laughs> now I'm not going there because his knight's there, but let's jump out here anyway, because he's moved his knight so his pawn can get activated, either blocking, yeah, blocking or something. So we do have a knight protecting this square and a pawn protecting this square. He may not pay interest at all. He might just push down. So I'm actually going to push and see what he does. Does actually capture. Surprise. Let's just attack. So taking advantage of the files that they had the access to, um, they negated that and they've allowed us power in the area that we had. So he's attacking the pawn, we can support the pawn easily. It's gonna push here. Only issue is it with his double pawns, he could do something maybe. I'm gonna bring the rook here, get ready for doubling. Probably could have moved it a little bit further up just to get on the back. Yeah, now the king's getting in, so let's just do this anyway. Yeah, I probably should have moved it here to then probably, you know, try and slide across. But they may have challenged us anyway with the rooks. You never know. 
So the king is it. Whoa, he's going for a trade, and we're still owning the fire with the rook anyway. So happy with that. I think he's thinking he's coming and challenging this pawn with his um, extra bit. So we could put a check on the king. Rook just goes up and down. Or we can take advances his king up the board. I'm not really a fan of advancing his king if I don't have to. Because our poor king is stuck in the middle. They do have a poor majority, so maybe the king can fight the good fight. Okay, I'd rather take it here, here. And then we can go here. Obviously, then the rook's going to come, we take, and then his king goes further back. Yep, let's do that. And let's go here. So at least if he, you know, if his rook comes here, then his king's going to be at least on the back. Gives us a bit of time to get up here and block his pawns off because we do have a passer. He's not doing that. He's guarding his pawn. That might be a good thing for us. Gives us time to move the king, like we mentioned. Now's the time for him to start mobilizing these pawns somehow to, <laughs> like what I just said. Uh, I'm going to move the king up, like I said, just to try and block it off. If we can get the king here, then get it off, take, take, because we do have a passer that they've got to contend with. So it's like a creeping, creeping attack with the king. It's not stealth. They can see me coming. What can they do about it? I suppose they can push pawns, and but we can take. But I was just about to say, if he pushes it, then the king can't come up. We could go here, but then we're giving them a passer. So if we went round the back here, he just drops. And then the king can come here and attack the pawn and bring the rook down and attack. Other downside to that is if we did go here, his rook can come here, he's now owning the file. And he can come round the back and start taking the pawns. That's the problem. If we push the pawn one, just for a move, or we can just push this pawn. Or we could push it up. I think we're going to push this up because if he challenges we can push it up if he blocks down or something we can push up i think there's more benefits to this pawn move excellent so we can push this pawn he might challenge gives him a bit of breathing space if we went ooh, well done if we went here bang 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 Oh, he's got two pawns against us, but we do have a rook here, so something must be happening somewhere. Could go for a little gentle pawn push, couldn't we? We don't need to do anything extravagant. Could even hit the pawn. If he takes, we take. And he's got like a pawn majority against our little two there. Is that going to work for them? I'm hitting the pawn. I'm hitting the pawn. I know it's doubled and he's still got these pawns here. And he's going to have a pawn majority on this side. But something's telling me we may be able to start pressuring the king a little bit with our small, small little soldiers. It's dropped. So that's lovely. He's given us two passes. Well, a semi-pass one because this one's blocking it. So we can come here now because if he does drop, we can simply take. So I'm just going to push this pawn. So he's going to want to keep that one there because he doesn't want this happening. In fact, if we did that, we'd lose the rook, wouldn't we? So we have to be very careful position for the rook at some stage again it's a potential for attacking this but I really don't want to give them the file 
So we'll see what they play. They'll probably do a non-move like this or something. They could hit our king, but that's playing into our hands, I think, a little bit. So I don't think that will happen. They could do this one. Not so much into our hands, because like we said, if we do come here, the rook is the one that's going to have to come and attack it. But it's going to have to come off the line. Oh, hold on, no. We can stay here. Yeah, so if they did that, we would be able to come here. We would be able to come down here and attack it. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to come across. We can just come down and attack the pawn. Obviously, he can move his rook and do stuff. So if he moves his rook, we don't want to give him a passer because they'll just push past. Okay, so we're waiting. I've done all the calculation. I need, oh, and they've left the game, it looks like. Seven seconds, six, five, four. Interesting game. So 10 and 0. Let's see what we can do in this game. What's it going to bring for us? Going to capture the pawn. Obviously, leave the pawn there. Might as well push this pawn here. And bring the bishop here. So it looks awesome. They've got three pieces out developed, but one of them is a main piece. So they're having to move it back, losing a little bit of tempo. So very comfortable just developing the knight. See if we make space for castling. Dirt simple. Yep. Let's castle. Let's capture. So what's happening in this particular game here? At this moment in time, they've gone for simple movements, capturing, capturing. So it's now the two bishops versus the two knights. I don't put any weight to any having the two bishops in any sense. It's just a matter of how you utilize the pieces that you've got on the board. So I'm going to bring this because it doubles an attack on the pawn. It's easily defended, obviously. Um, but they brought the knight in, so it looks like they're wanting the queen to come back into the game a little bit. Or are they wanting to advance the pawn? Or are they just wanting to give this pawn up for free? Or are they just wanting to try and disturb our pawn structure that the queen is defending? Um, so I think we'll take the free pawn. Might be a poison pawn. I just can't really see it at the moment, but it could be. So the move there very quick with the knight. So the queen can take, so it's not doubling the pawns. It's not like disturbing our pawn structure. So look to maybe double the um, rooks up once the, I think the knight will probably attack it. So we'll have to just bring it back a bit. All well, the queen's attacking, so let's just bring the rook and support. We have got a white square bishop if we get a bit of a platform x-ray through if they keep it there don't think they will though but um, i think this rook will come here and attack the rook because the knight is supporting at the minute but you never can tell in the game oh my gosh they have done as well so let's take and the knight has actually gone there that's an interesting situation so we could come here with the queen looking for a back ranker i think we'll do that So obviously there's a pawn or the come back, so can take. Still hunting the back ranker. But the queen's probably going to take, but still we can go for the back ranker. Okay, not necessarily a back ranker per se, so I don't think I'm going to waste my queen there. I think I'll bring the queen here. So the rook's going to come and face us off, so their queen is 
thankfully just hitting this one so they'll be looking to sit here because the rook will be targeting this pawn anything else we can do look for a rook rover whilst their rook comes in attacks or do we just come back and look to attack the queen I think the queen's got sights of its own potentially coming and attacking pawns over here let's just bring it back and we'll hunt this square obviously we're thinking the queen is well it's not moved so we'll just attack the queen see if we can own the file with the rook so it's only plus one we'll class it as plus two because they've um, got double pawns here so we're on two pawns so they can't defend both so we'll take this pawn now their rook should run to try and own but we can bring the king here yep so it has done so we'll just bring the king across so we could chase this pawn down but the rook's just going to come and defend do we want to be sat doing that type of thing and even if we chase this one his rook can come and defend and then our rook's sort of stuck in that little cubby hole of pawns undecided i'm gonna attack this one if rook comes down to defend and then attack this one then the rook comes across and is attacking our pawn what shall we do what shall we do let's think positive positive so if the rook's coming here if he's attacking this pawn we may as well push this pawn up i don't know let's push this pawn prevention better than cure And then just push this nice steady position all right so he's attacking this pawn so we can just push this pawn does help with our positioning so we can come across and attack comes and defends the pawn starts hitting but then he's going to hit this pawn so do we hit the rook first with the smaller piece i think we do got time six minutes so it's coming here go there so that's not going to work for them okay and we touch the rook like we said it's trying to protect both pawns with the rook it's not really going to happen it's almost kind of trapped really it's gonna to have to come out is that going to give us time to actually take this or go for this pawn i think so so it's going to come hunting this pawn might get it actually because we're going to have to push it up yeah so if we push it up his pawn takes we take yeah let's push it up so this rook's going to be behind our pawn Let's take just slide down and attack this pawn and get this one activated takes takes yeah let's just bring the rook down attacking the pawn king's going to want to get into the game it's going to want to come and get the pawn i think they'll be fast enough let's push this pawn Shall we push? Maybe shall we just leave that one? Let's just take the pawn. Because if the rook takes, I think he's going to come down for a check on the king. So if he takes, rook takes, his king's here, but we've got two linked pawns, which is going to probably cut. Oh, they have taken. Okay, so no worries there then and we can just let's just start pushing pawns up or we can go for these pawns here with our king yeah okay let's push if he goes behind the pawn then it's all over yep i think they'll resign now
Okay, they've left the game. 10 0. Let's, uh, oh, I've not tried, not done this one for ages. Let's take the pawn. It's very dangerous, but you know, I've not done it for ages. Uh, let's just bring the queen through. Let's hit the knight. Let's take the queen. It is pretty straightforward, but it, it can be dangerous if um, they start doing some funky business. And it's the sort of development of my piece, you know, my pieces. It's not really good. You know, like they're looking to take advantage of it straight away. Let's just bring the knight here, protecting. So exactly what I said, it's that sort of development of your pieces. You're just messing about chasing pawns, so you're losing that tempo. So I'm going to castle. I'm going to attack the knight. So they've moved the knight, it's gone into the corner, maybe we can disrupt some of their pawn structure, but I'm thinking we go here, he's just going to come and attack our bishop. Am I too precious about that, really? Not really. Is there something else? No, let's push. And let's take it off the board, doubling the pawns, bit of damage. Doubling our pawns, bit of damage. Let's take on a higher piece and take again with a check and they lose a minor piece because of that move order. Doesn't mean the game's over, but let's take. The rook is down and we're not going to go here because he'll take this pawn, so we can attack the rook. Knight's protecting this pawn. Let's take. Now we've got access to their rook. Ooh, so close. Yet so far. Okay. Um, bring the bishop offline. Yeah. Oh, and they get the piece back. That's like miraculous. But realistically, looking at the whole thing, positionally, that's just like a greedy munch because it hasn't improved their position on the board, has it? Do you know, I mean, that's like one of those, it's not a quick and dirty tactic thing, but it's like, to me, I feel like it's a bit of a waste of a move because it doesn't do anything for you. Bishop is trapped. It's just, I can't, I'm going to just do this. Keep it real simple and take here. The rook's moving fast. Hopefully they go and take that pawn because the bishop is right here. We're not doing that. Let's just take this pawn. So position is key. We're not going to push here to protect the pawn. So we may let that pawn go. There might be other things that we can potentially do to disturb the apple cart. I like this because it gives us this, but we're not going to do that just yet. Let's hit the king. As always, it is more about position on the board rather than dirty tactics that look like they're winning anything. It's going to come down, put a check on our king, but the pawn is protecting the knight from doing any damage, so we can move here. It's not doing that just yet, so we can just attack the pawn. If the pawn takes, bishop can take quite nicely. There was this, a missed opportunity. Oh, and it's still there. It's still there. X-ray through to the king. I would have got it for free, though, I think. Let's go back. Yeah, I would have got it for free if I'd have moved the bishop here. Never mind. So we'll take it off the board. And then we'll just swoop down. Knight's probably going to be rushing to protect it somehow, but I can't really see how it does. King can't come in here. Alright, let's put a check on. Let's put another check on. Let's see if we can get behind this pawn. Let's push this. 
and let's just bring the rook behind the pawn and let's go it's probably going to get the knight in front of the pawn to block it yeah let's go here it's not doing that that was a missed opportunity so it's just using the knight to oh it's um, blocked now right so shall we just bring the rook here and attack the knight here let's do this Pawn's pushing down, let's attack the knight. So, oh, maybe not that way, let's attack the knight. And let's get the promotion. Let's give the king a touch. Just say hello. Another touch. This one should be done, shouldn't it? Excellent. 